Welcome to Tetra Football. Today we're going to be rating the uh, Premier League away kits, so let's get straight into it. Well, first up is Bournemouth, and uh, personally I like this kit. It's got the nice white design. I mean, the sleeves look nice. A bit of white, black and red. I think the mixture is really good. Uh, personally, I, feel, I, mean, I think I would put it in good. What about you, Tom? Wow, I love the slick white designs. I can see the red, which is nice and bold, and shows what Bournemouth is all about. So that's why I put it in good. It's got the colours of Bournemouth, which is good, but it's just got nothing on their home kit. I, I say, uh, good, maybe very good. Yeah, I think I'm slightly different to everyone else. I think I'd go for it very good. The white, it's nice, it's clean, and the extra detail on the sleeves just add that bit extra to it. The red and black that represent Bournemouth. So what are we going with? I think we're going for good. I mean, you said good. Yeah, I'm good. Good as well. And we we got two on very good, two on good. Uh, I think I would push mine to very good. To be fair, I think we, we go for very let's good. go for yeah. very good. Yeah, that's oh, good to see you. Alright, time to uh, uh, okay, we got a bit of a, a bit of an issue. Here. There you go. Technical problems. Figure it out. Don't get this um, anywhere else. Alright, we're all good. We're, I mean, we're very good. Next, <laughs> next up we got the Gunners. Uh, Gunners, sorry. Um, Whoa. Arsenal. Oh, Arsenal. As much as I hate them, I, I actually put that very good to be honest that, I, I, that, I think I think that's an excellent kit is yeah. that one of the that kit I would say is excellent it's pushing mm. to god tier yeah I would I would argue god tier too but it's, it's, really? a nice, it's a nice black kit with the gold I uh, mean it's it's like the black kit is just when you think of a black kit away kit it's Arsenal and I think yeah. it just really solidifies the Arsenal vibe yeah I think Adidas are going a good job the stripes obviously go all the way down the sleeves which just looks much better than what Leeds did with their home kit and if you look at like the stuff on the kit, like everything's in gold, like the badge and the sponsor, it's all in gold. And also, I think that Arsenal badge, it just represent, it just looks better on a kit than the big chunky badge they have on their home kit. So, Tom, what, what do you think about the Arsenal kit? Well, I would go with God tier. I know it's a bold opinion, but I just think the black, it just. Something different, you know, not like a white like most teams do. I'll so, admit, I do like the change in logo. The change in uh, yeah. logo to the uh, the actual cannon itself is pretty awesome. It is uh, very new, but I mean, I'm mm. I'm here for this change. I think it's one of the best changes yeah, they've done. It's nice. Um, and they, they do do that on their kits a lot, is... and it does look nice. And Arsenal, they don't normally disappoint you with their kits. I'm, I'm actually going to have to change my opinion from excellent to god tier. I'm, I'm thinking of yeah. god tier. It's a I nice black kit. I've been outweighed here. I'll you say very good. But... You can't argue with a black and gold so kit. So one of these yeah. top two tiers. I think oh, god I, tier. I God. Yeah, we got three people saying God. I mean, I know that Arsenal right, fan in the comments, Jaden Bailey, I think his name is, uh, he'd be very happy with that one. Yeah. Okay, nice shout out. Uh, so, well we done, got, Arsenal. We've got Villa. Aston Villa next, which Villa. have a blue kit. Uh, I think it was last year as well, wasn't it? Yeah, the I mean... Mm. The, the Kazoo sponsor always does take up a lot of room. I'm not a fan of this one, to be fair. I think it's meh. The lines are, are, are quite good. Yeah, the lines are good, but it's just the sponsor's too big for me. I think... It takes up too much space of the kit, so you can't really get a nice, nice feel about it. I would agree with you on that one. I would I'd put in meh, because it's not nothing too bold, it's just a bit plain, really. Yeah. And the Purple. sponsor is taking up like, the whole Purple room. rims are quite nice like on the, on the um, arms and the neck. I'd actually put in very good. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. I mean, personally, I don't think Villa have done anything outstanding with their kits this year kind of agree that the kazoo is a bit big but it does match the colours of the kit which is better Correct. and overall it's a bit of a plain kit like there's some sort of slight pinstripe pattern going on in the purple colour but overall no. I think it's a bit of a meh kit so what we're I putting think, in I think should we, should we meet in the middle go good no meh uh, I think every, three I think of just, us have gone meh I've been outvoted I've been outvoted I mean this is looking very very satisfying I think getting awful oh my goodness um, I think that's the Brentford kit Brentford that is very boring. It's it's um, too too plain for me. You know? Compared to their home kit, the the starfish kind of um, Vibe. sponsor. Is... I've heard though they've done the same thing as the home kit. This will be the OA kit for two seasons, and I think that's excellent from them. But I mean, I just think they've let the da the fans down a bit there. So where would you put it in? Okay. I think it's good, but I thought that Brentford, you know, could. Push into the excellent kit tier, but uh, you know, it needs a bit more work for me. Definitely far from excellent for me. I'd say um, yeah. good, maybe. What would you say, Tom? I'm going with 
I would say mad, but I'm leaning towards good. I'm going for good too. It's just why there's nothing to it really. You can't really well. That's yeah. why I put in good. I, mean, I can agree it's a good kit. It's nice white, it's got the touches of red I think it is on the sleeves and the collar mm. and obviously the badges in red helps it stand out. And just like last video, the Hollywood bets, it still looks like a starfish made of pubes. It's just not it's not a great sponsor, it takes up too much of the shirt for me. And overall though, nice classic white kit, good. Next up, Brighton and Nova Albion. And I absolutely love this kit. I mean, I think it's excellent, 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 excellent. There's no, nothing bad, but I just don't think... I think if they had the smallest sponsor, maybe changed up the uh, sleeves a bit, it'll get into that god tier, but the colour is really good for me. I'm going to put excellent as well. The reason for this is this nice and vibrant, like the... The red, it's just the crimson red. It just shows you what it's about, really. You're not gonna lose someone in the dark if you're wearing that I do, kit. I do like the yeah. the orange kit, but it's very reminiscent of the uh, the Dutch kit. I would put it in very high, very good, or very low, low mm. excellent. So I think if you you like saying excellent, what would you say? George? Yeah, I'm thinking excellent or very good as well. I like the sort of orangey red. It's a nice color, and the fact that they've got the American Express and the Brighton badge sponsor just in. In black, it just looks better with the kit. Like, if they had made that Brighton badge blue, it just wouldn't have looked good. It looks good. much cleaner, and I also think. Also, the nice little touches of black, honestly. It's just a nice, clean shirt, and I'd give it a very good or excellent. Yeah. Should we go excellent? So, I think yes. overall, we're good in decision. excellent spot. Well, we've got quite a yeah, satisfying um, well, collection here. Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea. I'm, I'm going to have to go for good this here. This is not going to be poor or awful, is it? So, we are going to have the second of one of these. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say good. It could have been very good, but I mean, I like the design, but it's just the colours. I, I just don't think they mix well together. What do you think about that, Tom? Well, I think the problem is there's just the blue on it. It's just a bit too too many spaces in between them, really, and it, just a bit. Hmm. I mean, they, the colour of blue is not met. Chelsea yeah. blue, is it? I do think that yeah. the the kind of bulk going through the uh, the sponsor does fit very well with it. the with the blue like kind of electric style stripes. So yeah, I'd I think it very good. But I mean, I'll put it good because I think you need more of a darker blue to show what Chelsea is about, just a bit similar to their home kit. So True, yeah. that's why I voted for good. Yeah, I, I believe personally that this kit deserves a good at best. Like the pattern going through it, it kind of just stops at the sleeves and the sleeves themselves are plain, and the free logo still ruins it. It's way too big. It cuts in through the pattern. It just doesn't look that good to me. So what are we going for? Uh, I think, think good. 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 I think good. Yeah. I'd say very good, but yeah, sure, cool. Oh, good. Crystal Palace, I think that is. Crystal Palace, uh, it, 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 that is good, but it's not as good as their home kit. I their home kit was just top tier, I think. You know, I mean. I thought you didn't like it, but. No, no, I liked it. I, it was Tom that didn't like it. I mean, I, it's copied the same sort of style, but I mean, the white with the red down the middle, it just. Looks very clean for me. What do you think, Tom? I don't like it. It's just a little. They've copied the home kit again. Then the little scribble with their crayons. So that's why I'm gonna put in there again. I do love it. Um, I've, I've put that excellent, at least. Um, <laughs> um the, the the stripe down the middle. Yeah. It's got the two colours which make up Crystal Palace. And uh, I, yeah. I think excellent as well. Very well. Nice. I, I, I think we can put them up there with their rivals, Brighton, in excellent. Like the scribble design. They might have used it for the home kit, but it's still different to what we've seen from any other team and this time it doesn't cover the whole kit it's just a nice red and white stripe down the middle still represents palace and the white just looks clean and luckily for them the sponsor sort of matches the kit so i think they're good so, ryan what would you say i'm gonna go for excellent as well sorry tom you've been outvoted but I'm, been out i know it's your it's no it's your rivals but you've got to respect a good kit when you see one well, my, my little cousin could do some little scoop all right let's go excellent next up is everton mm. Okay, so, yep, Everton is the next team, and personally, I cannot give this kit anything higher than poor, really. Like, the pink, it's a good colour, I like the pink, but other than that, it's just a really weird pattern, and the stake.com sponsor is way too big, and there's nothing going on the sleeves to add anything extra to it, and, yeah, I just believe that pattern is just strange, really. Personally, I was hoping we could make a new column for it. The one where you could burn the kit because it's just that awful. I don't even think the colour pink is good for this kit. And then, what, yeah. what are they doing with the like design? I mean, it's awful it throughout. Awful. I, I would just go 
Burn the kit. Awful. Yeah, I believe this kit it will represent what their season is going to be like. Absolutely poor. It's going to be awful. Well, I'm, I feel sorry for you, Everton fans. I'm going to put it in poor. The reason for this, it's, sim it's just like a home kit. The sponsor are taking up too much room. And what are them patterns? Oh, it's just ruining it. It reminds That's... me a lot of the uh, Piemonte Calcio kit from... Um, from... Which FIFA game is it? Last one or this one? Whichever one. Whether they had it pink and it was it's just not good. It looks like a child's just made Just years it. ago, the would... Juventus kit. It's, they, they do the pink well, but yeah. Everton, they've I done it and they've just put it failed. in awful, but poor. It's, it's the low end of poor. It's, it's not great. All right, uh, Fulham. Fulham. Let's start. There's haven't... two teams haven't reached their kit. These two haven't reached their kits. Both awful. What are you doing? You need to have an away kit released, released by right now. now. It's a shambles. What are you doing at your club? Come Leicester. Uh, it's a bit boring, but... Oh. It's it's classic. What do you think of that? I think you know I'll, I'll put it in May. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it would it. join um, Aston Villa and May. You know, it's quite quite plain. I I don't think the colours are too nice, and I mean, it's, the sponsor is quite big, don't you think, Tom? Yeah, I, I don't really like it, so I'm gonna go with. Mm, I would say good, but it's not even. It doesn't even deserve that. Let's go with May. Um. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I think the sleeves. If you worked on the sleeves, yeah. it could get into good. What do you think, George? Do well, you think it's yeah, it's a bit meh. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel sorry for Leicester fans this year. Like in recent seasons, they've produced some absolutely beautiful kits. But Correct. I yeah. don't think this year they've kind of lived up to that standard as well. Like, the white centre it looks all right. It's clean. The fact that they've like, they do good jobs with the pink and maroon colours, but this season they've just completely been that off mm. and. The badge making it black, I feel like that's just sort of taking away the colours you used to see mm. for Leicester. And I think the kit looks plain and sort of washed out, especially with that, what, browny, golden, grey type mm. sleeves. It just doesn't look it's right to me. It's classic, but not classic yeah, Leicester. Yeah, Joe, I've it's seen you put it in meh. It's so it is, is yeah. meh. I, I think, I think, I think we're agreed on meh. too okay. bold. Liverpool, however, <laughs> have a very, very, very I good think I think I'll put very good for this kit. I mean... It looks like a shiny from like a... Pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I was or, thinking or Pokemon. Attacks, yeah, or whatever. You know, you know, you know um, when you would get that Wayne Rooney yeah, well, and you would love the shiny Wayne Rooney, and that's that's what I'm feeling from this kid. Well, I can tell you Lots right now, Rooney, Rooney would snap a Liverpool player yeah, wearing would, this kit. Yes, I would. Oh, uh, sorry. For me, it's God tier. Uh, maybe yeah. high end of excellent. I, I think it's a good slash, uh, uh, not good, a uh, God slash excellent like. Personally, like what what I've read about the kit is, it represents the musical history of Liverpool, and the fact they're connecting it to the city will make it like more important to the fans. And personally, I love it. It's different. It's unique. And just because it looks like they're trying to hypnotise the opposition, it does, does not make yeah. it a bad kit. It is. It looks I would good. give it an excellent. Oh God. I'm I'm gonna go for excellent. To be fair, I mean, I did say very good, but I think that link to music just really puts it up a level. Tom. I'm going to be very good. I know you may, you may disagree with me, guys, but I think it's an amazing kit. It just... It's just like it's blinding my eyes a little bit, so... I think uh, excellent is yeah, going very good. Uh, I think excellent I'd say God, but you did say excellent. Tom said very good. Man City. Um, very good or excellent for me. But what about you? Uh, I mean... I would put very good, to be fair. Not excellent. Uh, it's just not, not the best kit they've done, but... Yeah, still well, a very nice kit. It's different. It's very different for them. I mean, the the uh, mm. the design's not the best on yeah, the eye, but right? I mean the colours work together. So I mean, I really do like the gold, like Etihad oh, Airways, the badge outlines in gold, and the Puma sponsoring yeah, gold. Well, I, I think that really yeah. takes us back to I, the days where they won the league in the last second. You know, what, are you what are you on about? What are you on about? What are you on about? Sharp. Does it really? Look, the, the red and black, they're throwing it back to, yeah, a few seasons ago, but they had the red and black stripe kit, and you can't really mess up with a red and black combo, really. So I think overall, it's just a good kit. Yeah, I, th I think it's decent. Oh, I think good. What do you I think, think, Tom? I think... <laughs> I think good, because it's there. Uh, I like the red, black, <laughs> slick design, and the yellow, just... Makes the kit shows you that <laughs> showed you what Man City is all about is what I think he was trying to say. Um, what are we going with? Uh, I think good. I think good overall. I think very good. Had a bit of technical difficulties Tom, there. Ryan just being a bit of a spastic. Very good, good or excellent. Ooh. 
This one, I like, I like the white. We just Look. spoke about it, mate. <laughs> I, I just Wait, love the kit. It's white, mm-hmm. it's red and black, <laughs> mate. <laughs> 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 my eyes are blinded, okay, sorry. Okay, what we go with? Let's go with very good. Okay. I think good. I think good for City. I think um, very good. We've got Manchester United here. Very, very boring. <laughs> it's just a white kit, really. It's, it's not... meh for me. Meh. Oh, I, think, I think meh. Like, yet again, they've got that weird box around the United badge, which it just it just looks wrong. It, it It's crowding out the badge. And for United, you need that badge to stand out, not be smothered by something yeah, I else. I'd agree with you on this one, folks. I, I do like the the white and the... It's just, it's, a, it's a little box around the bag, it just throws me off. It's a plain kit, it's just a plain kit. Yeah, like, nothing too special about it. So. Uh, yeah, again, with Adidas, the stripes haven't gone all the way down the sleeves, which I think is poor. Mm, yeah. And, I mean, some people like that collar, but for me, adding the red and white, it just looks a bit weird. I mean, the collar is just not as good as their home kit. I mean, I'm putting it in there. It's just not very nice on the eyes. All right, I think we can agree on the man all around for that, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, right. we're very agreed at meh. Newcastle, uh, they've adopted this blue um, kind of kit with these Horrible. yellow bits. I don't think we need a discussion for this. It does really. look a bit like the Wolves kit from a few years ago. I think it was, apart from in reverse. I'm, I'm going to put it in awful. I just hate it. Everything about it. Oh. I mean, the colours are just not Newcastle. I mean, I mean, look at the design. It's not very nice. So I just think, I mean, how can you say that is very good? Oh, excellent, meh. You've got to put it in poor or awful for me. Uh, I I think it goes in poor. Like the blue and yellow, they're good colours, but the fact they've made the Newcastle badge yellow, it yeah, completely takes, takes it away one. from what represents the city. And other than that, it's really just a plain kit. They haven't done anything to it. It's just boring. It's bland. It's got to go in poor. I'll go poor because it's it's just blue, just with the badges on with yellow. So they could have at least should put Newcastle in black and white, but no, they've just. Left it yellow. In all honesty, I don't hate it as much as you lot. I'd put it in either good or meh because it's just a bit bland. But uh, you've you've gone mm. poor, so I yeah, guess poor. That's, that's where we're going. Nottingham Forest, they do have a nice kit. Um, they, they do have a very nice kit. I mean yellow. the yellow. Uh, yellow. The, the, the shoulders are actually really really good. Um, I like the yellow though. I'd put it in very good to be fair. I would I would rate that to be fair. I mean I do really like the yellow sponsor. It's not too big. I mean there's no main sponsor. And I, I like the blue, like, We badge. saw this with the home forest kit as well, didn't yeah. we? That there isn't, like, anything taking up a lot of room. There's nothing yeah. dominating. I mean, I yeah, think... that's definitely an improvement from their previous yeah. kits. If you look at the last few seasons, they've had the massive boxed sponsor on the front, which yeah. just, it takes yeah. away from the, I think the beautiful fans would history enjoy of that. Nottingham Forest. I think they're enjoying it. It's a nice design, and it just shows you that when you Nottingham Forest are doing yeah, yeah. Do for me, it's definitely a kit. That very I'm good. Very good. That Nottingham Forest fans need kit. to be getting. I'd give it very good. The yellow, it's a nice colour, and the added detail on the mm. sleeves, it's clean. And they also did the yeah. same pattern, just on the edge of the collar, which looks nice. That's four very good, so, so uh, very good it is. Southampton. Controversial, but I think it's going to be uh, very good. I think it could go in god tier as well. You think? Uh, for me, it's it's poor. poor. Um, it looks messy. It's not really synonymous with Southampton. It's you know, it's close to awful, but what do you think? I, I don't oh. think it's Southampton, but I mean, I think it's... I think it's still a very good design. I think poor. No. Oh, you're there's, so wrong. There's some stupid designs. All, it's all over the place. It's all messy. You're so wrong. This is a beautiful Me kit. I'll put it in meh. I think it could go in God. It is a beautiful kit. It's got like the wave pattern. It represents the South Coast. It represents Southampton. It's a good kit. I like it. I think it should go in God. We've met in the middle. I meh. think we're going to have to, yeah, go Oh, meh. my God. Tottenham. It's disgraceful. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna awful. 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 I, I, even I wish we could burn Tottenham, it. The Tottenham burn fans it. gone awful. Like... Yeah, that's all you need to know. The Tottenham fan, even himself, has put it in awful. Like, yeah, the fact that that the fact that the Tottenham fan has put it in awful just shows you how disgusting this kit is. It looks like just a training kit. It's it's rubbish. Like, if I wanted to go swimming, I'd wear it. It does look like a scuba outfit, but um, for a, for a football kit, it's, it's shocking. It I mean, dreadful. I I would just I'm not even using that to burn something. I mean, it's just awful. It's just horrible. I, I just think it's something that like, some middle-aged men would wear just to go cycling. I... It does, it looks like light crazy. <laughs> it, yeah, it looks like class. a cycling cycling uniform and that is not what you want in a football shirt. It is poor. Tottenham, you've got to do better next season. This point with that. Um, I won't be surprised if we see that on the Tour de France. Home you know? kit was decent. Third kit's really good. But that is... Mm. I don't even want to be associated with that. Might as well send it to Bowie when he's going on his little cycle. West Ham. Um... 
getting towards the end now. West Ham are. Well, I should scroll down so you can actually see it. Sorry. Um, no. It's okay. It's just sponsors it's a bit a, big, isn't it? And the, well, they're associated with West Ham bet way now. Although making it stand out in white, it is quite big and it's kind of in the way. But overall, I think it's just a good kit because it's a nice. It's a clean black kit. Umbro have done decent, and they have added the extra sort of blue, red, and white in the sleeves at the end of the sleeves, which I think represents Britain and when they're travelling away in Europe this season, mm, yeah. it will represent where they're from. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't say it better if I could. Uh, myself, I mean. I mean, there's there's just... I mean, the, the badge is just absolutely outstanding here. I mean, you know, I, I think it's not too big, not too small, just perfect. I think I'm doing good for this one because it's a nice black, white design. It's not, not too much going on. So, I'm yeah, good. so far in good. What do you think, Joe? I, I can't remember if they've actually done this or if I'm making it up, but I feel like in recent years West Ham have changed like the colours of the hammers to like blue and the writing on some logos. Like, I've seen it somewhere where... I think the, you're uh, making it up, mate. Yeah, I think you might be. There is out. there is a few logos where the writing and the is they might have changed yellow, it to fit blue. the kit sometimes. Um, some people probably know what I'm talking about. I think but, it's under a little daydream. Um, oh. That doesn't really show it off. I, compared to the home kit where the shoulders had a lot of effort put into it, I think that. No, was no, the shoulders were awful. Yeah, I, I think it's just good. I think, I, I'd say that's yeah, meh. I think it's a good kit. Say. I'm going good. I think we're Tom? all. I think the rest of us I'm are both good as well. All right, then we have wolves. Finally. Who, Amazing. you can't really see it wonders. here, it just looks a little bit blue, but if you... Uh, God tier, God it, it, tier, if that's all I'm saying. If you zoom in on it, you see the, the kind of yellow framework pattern, and it looks really good. So, uh, for me, it's, it's excellent. What do you think? So God tier. Without a doubt, I'm going with God tier. The reason is there's a nice yellow one. It just shows you. It's like a yellow all around the, the shirt. It just shows you that wolves are going to be good this year. I mean, the Astro Pay sponsor, not too big. And I mean, the badge, not too big again. And I mean, the blue, it's a nice blue. I would, I would even consider buying that. And I'm not a Wolves fan, I'm a Chelsea fan. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I can agree on God. I do like the kit, and it is a lot better than other kits they produced recently. Wolves haven't been making very good kits, and that's partly down to the old Chinese betting sponsor they had, but... Now they've got Astro Pay, they've definitely made their kits look nicer. And I can agree, it is a nice blue, and there's a yellow framework. But if you look on the adult kit, there also is a massive sponsor right on the side of the sleeve, which kind of takes away from it a bit. Yeah, but I'd still be impressed if I was a Wolves fan due to the sponsor, which just doesn't take up too much space and makes it look like a. I don't know, so we've got two gods and two excellence, have we? Yeah. No, so I'll, I'll settle for excellence. I don't think it's quite. I'll settle positive. for excellence. Yep, let's go with that one. Let's go, excellent. Right, um, yeah. that's it. Um, yeah. Well, like and like subscribe, I mean. And we um, will hopefully this time remember to uh, put the link in the description. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that one, if guys. If you want to do this yourself. And we'll catch you next time. Remember, like and subscribe because every little helps. Bye bye.